So I've been exploring UEFN with this Rex Run Island and I thought to share a little bit the things I found with Control Rig, uh, what you can do to make stuff move around a sm in a smooth way. So let's dive into the editor and see the things you can do. I hope you can see it. Maybe I will put it in for unlit for now. Um, you can see it better, I think. So these are all connected. Um, this cube here is teleported to the player location. And this is a skeletal mesh, which is interpolating the location with the control rig. And the camera is connected to the uh, skeletal mesh. And what I did here with the control rig, I created the skeletal mesh first into this blueprint and I added the control rig component. You get the cam mover, skeletal mesh, and then you have the control rig here. And what you can do here is feed in the control rig, which we are using here. And this basically, or this is very basic. It is the new location from the position control. And I interpolate this new location to the current location with this node here. And the current location is updating the transform of this root bone. So back into the blueprint, uh, you have to set every bone here into the, in, uh, in this array. And you have to set the component name to the skeletal mesh you're using. So in this case, SM cam mover. And the last thing you have to do here is uh, add this position control, which we created here. And set it to control and set it to input. So you have to leave this open here, component name. And we go to the level and set some other things on this area. So we're gonna uh, highlight the blueprint, go into the control rig, component, and then scroll down to the uh, input, the position control, and set the reference actor to the look at tracker, which is this cube here. So basically, control rig is taking the location of the cube and feed it into control rig, which uh, where we are interpolated. So in order in order to get the cube, the basic cube uh, updating, we are using verse and I will open the verse here, the run manager. And uh, it's this part over here, track character. So uh, I'm basically I'm tracking the character, the translation here, and I'm feeding it into the look at tracker and teleport uh, the, the new location basically every frame but because we are running pretty fast it will be like stuttery right it will not be smooth and that's why we're using control rig so to get this camera going we are using a sequencer and we feed everything into here so this is the run cam this is the look at tracker and it is, this is the cam mover so what i'm doing is i'm attaching the camera to the cam mover and i pick the bone cube one so what you see is there is some delay in the camera as it follows. And that is uh, something you can do with uh, tracking an, an actor in the world. When you highlight the camera, you go to track, you can have, you have here a look at tracking settings. And you can set some stuff here like the interpolation speed and the actor to track. So we are tracking here the look at tracker. And we're also setting the interpolation speed so it will be like with some kind of delay. If you want to have it more tight, we can set it for example to 1 or 0.1. Then you will have your or more like a side scrolling. I'm using the same technique basically for other parts. For example, here the aim of uh, the T Rex. There's a part where you have to aim your flashlight and the T Rex will follow the flashlight. So when I open up sequencer uh, in flash, as you can see here, this is this cube. So the flashlight is aiming towards it uh, in control rig and the T-Rex is aiming as well. So yeah, that's just the same kind of effect and I'm updating this uh, position also in verse uh, whenever you click on a button. So yeah, that's it for this part. Uh, I hope you liked it and maybe it will be helpful for someone who is also exploring control rig in UEFN. So, ciao, see you next time.